I fell in love with this um, extraordinary story and this amazing script by Lucinda Coxon before I even made the King's Speech. So this is seven years ago. Uh, and, and I was blown away by um, this incredibly moving love story and this story about sort of love at its most transformative, a marriage going through such profound change. Um, and, you know, the script was so moving it made me cry. So really this is a seven-year journey to move audiences like uh, I was moved by my first encounter with this amazing story. I mean, yeah, I mean, Eddie Redman, I first worked with him when he was 22 on Elizabeth I. Uh, then I worked on Les Mis. Uh, he's, he's, he's such an unusual person. He's got such emotional openness and you know, open vulnerability, almost an emotional transparency, which I thought would be uh, wonderful to, uh, to explore Lily with. Um, so it's a dream to work with him again. Um, and he's, he's so extraordinary. He prepared you know, for an entire year for this film. I mean, so much of the work went before we even started the shoot. And um, you know, there's no one more conscientious who I've come across. And what I find interesting is that, you know, seven years ago, this was considered a hard film to finance, a risky film to make. Uh, and, and, and now people say it's timely and it's the right moment, it's in the zeitgeist. And that's, I think, evidence that the culture has shifted in an incredible way in just seven years. And a lot of that change has even been in the last two years. And it's thanks to you know, brilliant television like Transparent. I mean, Jill Soloway's achievement with that uh, is phenomenal. Jeff, what Jeffrey Tambor has done. Uh, Orange is the new back, Laverne Cox. Uh, uh, and in the way Caitlyn Jenner has shared her story with the world and with such incredible candor. So all, all of these things have you know, brought it into the popular consciousness, which is, uh, I think, good news.